Right, sound on, vision on, lens cleaned, gimbal on. Ah. I'm pretty sure I checked the mirror before I came out. Okay. Ooh, proper frosty day. Better than a rainy day, not as good as a sunny day. Ah, so it's uh, Saturday morning, though you might be getting this on Sunday or Saturday night or something like that. Purely because of the vagaries of time and its availability to me. So I'm sort of hoping that this will be a crunchy walk through the woods with a lot less mud. Ah. Yes. So the world bimbled about and was a super depressing place. Ah. Yesterday, on my day off, when I wanted to record, and then I didn't get my act together. Um, although I did have a very useful chat with Harlequin. Ah, still can't get over how cool it is to just phone Australia for free. Uh, via Discord. And uh, had a chat with Chipko last night. Played a bit of Fallout. Watched a few episodes of stuff. Um, yeah. So I'm here to tell you that uh, the Applewood vegan cheese is very, very good. When I made my first vegan chilli <coughs> last night, that was real good too. What else did I manage to do today, yesterday? Um, I tried uh, setting up the video recording on a video recording box and it just did not want to play. So I had a bit of a tech fail, which kind of lets you, you know, tech fails, you know, they kind of make you sort of just sit there after you've plugged away and unplugged things and plugged them back in again, look for drivers, look for manuals. Occasionally when you think you're saving money on a piece of technology, you just don't. So maybe it's a factor of um, the thing that I bought secondhand is supposed to have a remote control. I thought it was only lacking a power supply. I thought it would be very much plug and play but it really isn't. So yeah, that didn't want to play. And uh, because it's fully independent, it's not something I could simulate or get a driver or a piece of control software for. So the, uh, the Fallout 4 thing is, uh, it didn't happen yesterday, which is something that I wanted to put up instead of a video, give you a, like a Fallout 4 teaser video if you like. So that didn't happen. Um, yeah. Let's do facial recognition. Blah. So yeah. I did however manage to move some equipment into the studio. So that was good. That's uh, looking proper nice out. Let's uh, see if we can Rivers down to normal levels. It's not a tidal river, it's just water falling out of uh, the Peak District. <sighs> Interesting variations in landscape as the trees all lose their leaves. Yeah. Interesting, no? Yeah, so that's something. I think it's getting into gloves weather. I might have to look around for some gloves. So yeah, I think the Fallout 4 thing, I can't get my um, cheap um, HDMI recorder USB stick to produce anything like the niceness of graphics. And it has to be said, you know, if you, it, it's the resolution. I think it crunches down the resolution to make it into an MP4. And I think the fact that um, OBS tries to do it on the fly reduces the resolution even further. So it looks like I'm going to have to buy some kind of HDMI recording box uh, like new so I get all the relevant bits. 
for me to lose an irrelevant um, recorder and have it go out to a relevant monitor, if that makes any sense. So yeah, that's a thing. So yeah, that's going to have to wait until, well, it doesn't have to wait, I could probably order it um, now. So I could, I could get that sorted, I suppose. But it's going to be at least a week till I get to have another crack at it. So yeah, apart from that, it's just ideas and me looking forward to next year. So it's, this is the last day of November. It's Saturday the 30th of November. Uh, in 12 days. Into that crunch. In 12 days the UK goes to the polls. And in 12 days we'll elect someone. Uh, and we'll be more in line with America because we'll have our very own budget version of Trump. Because, uh, although I'm sure as shit voting Labour, um, I reckon the people of the country of my birth are going to pull a stupid and vote Conservative so they can get Brexit done, so they can get their sovereignty. How fucking stupid is that? I'm going to vote so we're, we're sovereign and free. Um, oh, we're in a totalitarian regime that we voted for that's going to destroy everything good about our country and turn us into the 51st state of an America that is also going to vote for another four years of totalitarian authority. Oh, well, at least I didn't have to think about politics. So, yes, those kind of things can put you down and make you not want to record. And yeah, I'm going to harp on about politics a little bit because it's going to affect all of us. On the one hand, you've got a bunch of people that, although they might not be able to do everything in the manifesto, will at least do some of it and attempt not to screw us over too badly. And on the other, you've got a man who Frankie Boyle referred to as a brain injury mated with an unmade, unmade bed, who is evil and whose people that work for them are also evil. Amazing. Well done, people. Well done, humanity. Let's do that. So, um, Project Morlock is going to be even more required going to be a lot more survivalism and stuff like that. Urban Agoge will mesh into it. Um, so hopefully everybody that's subscribed to this will follow me on to Project Morlock. I might even have to upload them to both. So there may well be a Project Morlock plug or the culture plug because the way YouTube works is your first video is the one that it pushes and adds as a suggestion. And if your first video isn't good, then uh, you've got this situation where people go to your first video and go, oh, this isn't very good because it doesn't look particularly good, although it might have some information in it. And people's attention spans are such that they can't glum onto it. And whilst <coughs> I would happily go with people who had an attention span of more than 30 seconds. <sighs> then, uh, yeah. Uh, and I'd rather have the 1% of people that can actually focus on it, not the wealthy 1%, but the 1% of the shaman population. 1% <sighs> psychopath, 1% shaman, and 98% in between. And there's a war on for the understanding of that 90%. People that will go, oh, we could do good things. Yeah, but. No, good thing. Yeah, but. <sighs> so, 
Got to draw lines under our previous lives. Take a concrete slab of one foot by one foot square, place it on the ground and stand on it. And make everybody else know that we have to stand and just stop all this. Is it broken? It is proper broken out there. And laughably so. We actually do have the answers as to how to fix things, how to fix poverty, how to fix hunger, homelessness, lack of education. It's all just lying there. Um, but the problem with helping the poor is they haven't got any money. Because they're poor. If they had money, they wouldn't be poor, would they? They'd be edging up and becoming people that you could easily dominate with advertising. What's the point in helping poor people? That's not a demographic that we want. It's amazing how many people I work with that aren't planning on voting. And when you do ask them, which is probably a bit, you know, immoral, but I'm curious, you know, they come up with the most depressing answers. So yeah, 12 days to go, or 11 days to go till the election day, and corrupt media empires and corrupt newspapers owners will collude with corrupt billionaires, and those people in turn will collude with corrupt politicians, and we'll be back where we started. Nobody wants to be a hero because there's no money in it. So yeah. That's about how that's going to go. People with some stuff will assume that their stuff will be taken away by the government. Not understanding that if you invest in people that are poor, you cut crime. It's like, you know, saving money long term. <sighs> Insanity. Insanity will reign. And, uh, yeah. and they'll make all opposition illegal. Like YouTube's yet might with its copper ruling and its new regulations where it basically awarded itself the right to delete any channel that it deemed to be non-profitable. That's virtually every YouTube channel there is. So it looks like the only thing you'll find on YouTube at some point soon is PewDiePie. And that's it. It might take those people a little longer to get in touch to uh, start purchasing and destroying archive.org, but they'll probably get there at some point. So yeah, it might not matter at all. So yes, But it is always better to try and fail than not try at all. <sighs> Sounds like a line from um, Dancing Under the Rose from, an out, from a very weird folk album called By Gloucester Docks I Sat Down and Wept um, by I think one of the members of Fairport Convention. It's an old album with a line in one of the songs that goes better to have danced, better to have tripped than never danced at all. And if you somehow find the song, and uh, I might have got, I don't, I can't remember um, the name of the artist that produced it, although I've got the album. I actually own a copy on vinyl. <sighs> wow, proper chilly out. But at least, no mud. Great thing about winter. Get less muddy, much better than autumn. So yes, gotta try these things. Gotta throw some money in the pot. Gotta take a punt on stuff. Invest some time. <sighs> know thyself. So yeah. There's about 30 people in the world that are watching this. Interesting, isn't it? 
and I value everybody. And I'll be more optimistic tomorrow. So, hopefully there'll be a more upbeat video tomorrow. But that's just kind of like, you know, these are the ways in which you sort of kind of demotivate yourself. And I'm not having that. So thanks for watching and do take care. See you tomorrow.